Hello, and welcome to the Denman Homestead. I'm Buddy with the Denman Homestead. Today, I have a surprise for Steph. So she just left to take all three children to their dentist appointments. And she was kind of wondering what we were going to do for dinner tonight because she has a lot of stuff that she's got to do. So I told her I was going to do some stuff around the house, but what I'm really going to do is I'm going to make something um, like a special dinner for all of us. What I'm making is called uh, Berea tacos. And Berea tacos are like a fried, juicy taco um, with, they're so good. I made them the other day for my coworkers because I've been really wanting to try them. And uh, so I, I had them for the first time the other day making them myself. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but my coworkers had all had them before and they said that they were delicious. Um, five out of five stars really is what I got for this recipe. So I'm going to do it again and um, see how Steph and the kids like them. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, the consomme, like the juice that everything is going to cook in. The tortillas are going to fry in this juice, and then we're even going to put some extra juice on top of it. That's the oven beeping. We're going to put some extra juice on top of it, even like before we take a bite. It's, it's super juicy, delicious. Um, the consomme is made out of all kinds of chili peppers, all the chili peppers. So I got some anchos here, some ancho, some dried ancho chili peppers. That's gonna go in it. I've got, uh, I actually didn't have some the uh, pasilla um, chilies last time I made this, but I had them at home. So we're gonna use some pasilla taco, uh, uh, chilies as well. And kind of the star of the show is Guajillo chilies these are delicious and then we can't forget the heat the heat from the arbol chilies so all this stuff is going to all these chilies i'm going to de-seed them de-vein them and then we're going to let them sit in some beef bone broth to get all tender and juicy okay here we have our assortment of chilies so i'm just going to use scissors for this and a bowl because we're going to put all of our seeds and stuff in there. See, these are pretty dry. The seeds just kind of fall out. But all we want is the flesh. We don't want the veins. We don't want the seeds. Want this right there. I'll cut these in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these directly into the blender after I finish cutting them. What is anchos? Ancho chilies. Mm, 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 mm. They smell so good. So all these chilies, the anchos, the guajillos, the pasillas, this is all flavor. That's really all it is, just chili flavor. We're not getting heat from these. But that's where the arbol's come in. These little dudes, these guys have some heat. So that's what we're going to do with these. Still going to de-seed them. Oh, 
And if some seeds get in there, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. As long as you get the majority of them out. All right, I'm gonna finish up here. I'll show you what's next. Okay, now that we have all of our de-seeded, de-stemmed chilies, we I've got some uh, beef bone broth boiling on the stove, and I'm gonna pour that in here to just um, let them soften up, let the chilies soften up and extract all that flavor, all that juiciness. So here's our beef bone broth. It goes directly in. And kind of shove everything down in there. Oh man, it already smells amazing. Okay. So that's all sitting down in there now. I'm going to put the lid on this and I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes at least. That's how we know it'll be nice and soft. But what we do in the meantime is we prepare the meat. So what I've got here is some short rib. So I'm just going to cut away from the bone. Get as much meat as you can out of these short ribs. Now, I'm no professional, I'm just a dude, but this is pretty awesome. Just tearing that away. I'm just a dude, so anyone could make this, even though it seems, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very involved dish, I guess, and it's very time consuming. But it's not difficult. Nothing about this dish is difficult at all. It's just a lot of steps. But it is worth it. Okay. We've got our meat. I'm going to season this up with just some salt and pepper. So last time, uh, I told you I made this the other day for my coworkers. And when I was cutting the onion, I was crying, so I'm going to try a trick, which is to chew bubble gum while you cut the onion. Some people say you don't cry. I'm going to find out right now. And this doesn't have to be finely chopped. It just has to be diced up because it's going to sit and cook for a long time. It's kind of windy outside today. Chewing, not crying yet. I didn't believe this was going to work, but I can smell the onion and normally it would be really cranking the tears, but I'm not crying. Steadily chewing. Onion down. I dropped a piece of onion. All right. Like I said, very coarsely chopped. Not fine at all. I'm not crying. The bubble gum thing is kind of working. What if I put it next to my face? Oh man. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. You got me. If I didn't have it, I mean, who's who's putting an onion that close to their face, right? If I didn't have it that close to my face, I think it would have worked. So this is going to go into the Dutch oven, and I just have a little bit of uh, olive oil at the bottom of it. And then we're going to let that get nice and soft inside the Dutch oven. And you know what has to go in with the onion is the garlic. Let's get that. So I'm just going to smash up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cloves of garlic. Smashing them. All right. Garlic in the Dutch oven. Okay. So we got that in there. We're going to let that sit for a few minutes not very long just we just want the onion uh, and the garlic to get softened up okay everything probably been about four or five minutes everything is looking like it's starting to soften up so we are going to take our short rib we're going to take our short rib and we are going to just sear it, just searing it. All we're doing is getting that, getting that, uh, nice dark color on all the edges. We're not cooking it in here. We're just searing it. It's going to lock in that flavor. So this is kind of what we're looking for. See how it's just, browned and seared on all the sides. That's all we want to do at this point. Okay. Now that meat has been seared, I'm going to add a little bit of apple cider, apple cider vinegar. Should have said we're going to take it off the heat first, but we're going to get our wooden spoon and we're just going to mix all that apple cider vinegar in with everything else that's kind of just collected on the bottom of this Dutch oven. It is off the heat now. Okay. So now we are going to uh, get, oh, we're going to finish our consomme. Okay. So it has been about 15 minutes that the broth has been sitting on these chilies. Oh man, does it smell good. Whew. That smells really good. Okay, so now we're going to put all of the things into this before we blend it. And we're going to start with a can of diced tomatoes. Whole can goes in. I've got some chipotle peppers. Oh, I don't know. Two, two chipotle peppers. There's one. And 
two. Okay. Now we are going to add in some Mexican oregano. Good amount. I don't really know measurements, so uh, I just add in what I think is a good amount. Um, we'll do cumin. Need more, need more than what that thing's giving me. So I don't know. Two tablespoons. Cilantro. Okay. Um, salt. A little bit of pepper. And now we're going to blend all of this up. Okay. Throw this on the ninja. Now we are ready for all the things to go into the Dutch oven. So, we'll put our short rib into the Dutch oven. Give it a push around to make sure the onions and the garlic are all mixed in with it. Any juices from the meat have to go back in. Going to do a little bit more olive oil. Coat everything. Secret ingredient. We're going to pour this over. Cover everything. Okay, everything is covered. Look how beautiful the red from all those chilies and tomatoes. We want the liquid to be above our meat, just above the meat. Um, if you end up with less liquid for whatever reason, you can just add some more beef broth in here. Top it off. Okay. This Dutch oven is going to go in a 350 degree oven for two and a half hours. Everything is heated, preheated already. And there it goes. Set your timer. So, while that is in the oven, working its magic, let's talk about another piece of magic and that is a hock of cheese and i was told by several people when i was looking up recipes for burrito tacos that you could use mozzarella but then i was told by an overwhelming amount of people that it had to be hock of cheese to be traditional and i can tell you that this cheese is creamy and delicious it's kind of like a mozzarella, I guess, but it's different. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's like got this creamy, buttery texture to it. So when we go to make our tacos, I'm going to shred this ajaca cheese up, and uh, that's what's going on it. Okay, Steph is back home and 
How did it smell when you came in? It smells so good. Um, really impressed. <laughs> and I cleaned the kitchen after yeah, I was done too. I think I'm more impressed with the fact that it was a clean kitchen. <laughs> Okay. And it smells good. All right. Let's take a look at it. Oh, yeah. Let's get, let's get the camera in. Mm. Oh, yeah. You have a lot of faith in that tripod. Yeah, I guess, yeah. My phone could have just became part of the beer of tacos. All right, so let's get it on a plate and we'll see how it shreds. If it's anything like the last time I did it, it should just kind of disintegrate. That's what we're looking for. So. Come here, Alora, come look. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I, I can't even pick it up. Can't even. Okay. Let's get this over. Hey, come here. All right. It's like butter. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How's the chili flavor? Really good. Mm, mm, mm. It's just baked in. It's just baked in. The flavor is just baked in. I just can't wait. I could just eat that plate. Yeah, I got the grill hot outside, so we're going to um, move this uh, to the outside. And we're going to slap some tortillas on the grill. I'll show you how we do it. Um, but just so you know, traditionally, this would be corn tortillas. When I cooked this for my coworkers, I did use corn tortillas, but I did find that they kind of fell apart a little bit. I mean, I was getting better the more tacos I was preparing, um, but they were, it was a little sloppy. So this time we went to the bakery at HEB and we got the um, 50, 50 tacos. So this is 50 flour, 50% 50 flour, 50% corn. Um, so I think this is going to hold together a little bit more. We'll try it. We'll see how it works, but yeah, let's go out to the grill. Okay. We are at the grill. It is hot. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this, but I have the meat right here and the Dutch oven over there. That's got all the juices left in it. So this is kind of how I originally did it the last time I cooked this. Took my tortilla. Took the tortilla and then I just shoved it down in the juices. Everything mixed together. Just shoved it down in there threw it on. I'm just going to let it sit because it's going to get crispy. This is going to be just with the tortilla put directly down into the consomme, the juices, dip flipped on both sides, thrown on. You want to wait until it starts to get that puffiness. So after they start to puff up, that's when we're going to flip. Now when we flip it over, we're going to add the meat. We're just going to add the meat on one side of the taco. Like 
like that. Then we're going to get our cheese. A hock of cheese. And we're going to put it right over the meat. Just like that. And let it sit for a little bit. And then we're going to do the fold. Okay, now we're going to fold it over. Press it down. We're going to let it sit like that for a little bit. And then we'll flip it. Just adding the meat and the cheese to the other tacos that are cooking here. I'm going to flip this one. Fold these. Tacos have been flipped, and we don't want to take them off too long, too quick because we want them to get crunchy. It's not going to be like crispy, crispy, but it is going to have a little bit more crunch. It's not going to just be a soft tortilla. Start taking some off. Look at that. See all that melted cheese in there? Set these off to the side. Now I'll show you a different way we can do it. So another way that you can do this is you can strain what is in the Dutch oven and you will be left with two products. Here we have the consomme, the juices, and here we have the chili paste um, so we can use that to try a different method i'm gonna try and get my tortillas a little bit more prepared this time because i had to unwrap each individual one so let me get out six of them here okay so now we're just going to take the tortilla and put them in the consomme the juices Dip them in, throw them on. that beautiful orange red color that's what we want and I'm gonna take this brush and brush on some of that chili paste just to try it, because I, I only did beef last time. I also did some burrilla style pulled pork, 
So we're going to try some uh, with pork as well. It's time to give these boys a flip. And once we flip, we add the meat. Got a little bit more beef left. And we'll go in with the pulled pork. Have not tried these tacos with pork, so this will be interesting. But it's the same, same deal as with the beef. We're going to just put, put it on one side. And then we're going to go over it with the ahaka cheese. Time to fold. Just going to fold and press. Fold. Oh. And press. Try not to put a hole in your tortilla during the folding. Yeah, scoop up under it and then smash it down. I'll let these sit for a little bit, and then we'll flip them. So I did tone down the heat just a tad bit because it was uh, too hot, I think on high so now i'm cooking these all on medium and it's a little more controlled a little more calm but let's get these guys flipped yeah medium heat was uh the trick i think it was just too hot and I think the method of giving it the consomme bath instead of the bath inside all of it is a little bit more controlled, cleaner. Okay. So, yeah, I got one more beef, um, and then these are all pork. We have a whole tray of tacos. We're going to get them plated, but what you want to do is you want to take the consomme and you want to serve it with the tacos. Dip it in there, drizzle it on top. That's what you got to do. Uh, we have a special guest. Hey, hey Mom. Hey, baby. Mom's going to try the tacos. Mom, I have beef and pork. What would you like? One of each? Yeah, I'll take one of each. OK. There's a. So did you bake these? Oh no. With these, oh, you fried these mm -hmm. with the stuff in them? Yes. Yeah. It's kind of a lot of, there's yeah. a lot of steps to this. So you cook the meat individually, then mm -hmm. you stuff them, and Correct. then you fry them. Correct. And then you dip it. Oh, what are you giving me? You dip it, okay. and then you try it. Just you try it on camera. Let's see so you try a bite. You want that thing? <clears throat> what kind would you like, baby? I don't know what each one is. I think that's the beef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Good? Mm -hmm. Probably one of the best tacos you've ever had, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Steph, what would you like? One of each? Yeah, I'll try one of each. Okay. What kind is Allura one? Allura, what kind would you like, baby? Just the, what? I said yes. What kind would you like, beef or pork? I'm going to the table. Yeah. Beef. Beef? Mm -hmm. The one that does not have any black stuff. Well, they all have black stuff. Mm -hmm. There's one with less black stuff than yes, this one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. You can put sour cream on it. Um, oh, I have onions and cilantro. <laughs> So to wrap it up, um, you can put fresh chopped cilantro and white onion on 
that's what I'm going to do. So that's it. That's burrito tacos. And um, I'm going to go eat some tacos. So thanks for watching. Bye. Look at that. Mom's plate's empty. Mm -hmm. Laura's almost done. Caden literally just sat down and he's almost done. Steph's plate's empty. Yeah. Whew. Your mouth is burning? No. No, it's not that You're hot. Lying. It isn't it spicy. <laughs> no, I'm just... That was a noise of me just shoveling two tacos in my mouth. Man, my plate's empty. Still got some tacos left over. I'll call Daniel now. And maybe Dad too. He ain't got no wife to cook. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll see if anyone else wants to come down.